All right, folks, let me introduce myself. My name is David Silverman. I'm a county judge, but I'm here in my capacity as your first appearance magistrate, and we'll be doing several things in your case. You'll be coming up to the, the microphone there in just a little while, and the court will advise you of the nature of the charge that has been lodged against you, and uh, the court will make a determination as to whether there is probable cause for arrest in that charge from the sworn arrest report and whatever other submissions are appropriate for the court to consider. The court will also address with you the issue of counsel, because being charged with a criminal offense, you have the right to an attorney to represent you, and if you desire to be represented by counsel and you can't afford to hire an attorney, counsel would be appointed to represent you. The court will also be making a determination as to the reasonableness of your bond. In order to fulfill those functions, it may be appropriate that I speak to you, but nothing I say and no question I ask should invite you to talk about the case or the facts of your case, because anything you say at this proceeding will be used against you at the trial and at other proceedings in your case. You have a right to remain silent, and your declining to answer questions or make statements here will not be held against you. If you do decide to make statements or answer questions, you have the right to consult with an attorney before doing so, and there's a representative, Mr. Stephen Smith, a representative of the Public Defender's Office, present with whom you may consult. Now, at the uh, conclusion of the proceedings, I ask and direct that you sign the paperwork. The clerk will generate it. It's not some confession or admission of guilt, but merely the minutes of the proceedings that would give you notice of any other court date and what uh, bond conditions may have been set in your case. Now, if you are unable to post the bond, you shouldn't be upset because mine is not the final word. You have a right to place a request before your trial court judge to reduce that bond. You can do that by contacting the attorney. I'll be appointing to represent you. And you have a right to contact that attorney as well as your family and friends and bonding agency by telephone from the jail. To whatever extent we will be speaking, it's important we have a meaningful conversation, so I ask and direct that you be sworn or that you affirm to tell the truth in today's proceedings. Those of you who have a case here today, would you please stand and raise your right hand. Each of you solemnly swear or affirm that any testimony you give in this proceeding will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Very well. If you'd uh, please be seated. <coughs> 